Prophetess. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki with another word of encouragement for you today. I want to thank all of my subscribers for your support and what God is truly doing through our channel here. I am so blessed to have each and every one of you. God bless you. If you tune in and you are not subscribed, hit that red button to become part of our family here and don't forget to tap the notification bell. I pray, sons and daughters, that God's face will always shine upon you. May the Lord continue to bless you and prosper you in every area of your life. Glory be to God. I'm excited to deliver the word of God to you. God said to build in silence. Listen, children of the most high God. God said, build and silence because you are unlocking generational wealth. You are not to reveal what God is doing in your life prematurely because the enemy will try to abort your purpose and your destiny. You have sold in tears and God said you are going to reap in joy. You are to trust God wholeheartedly. I know it's tough, but trust God wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly because God is going to cause wealth to run you down and to overtake you because you've been faithful over a few things, God said. Now he's going to make you ruler over many. God said you've been faithful to that which pertaining to another man, so now he's giving you your own. You have served in the right spirit, God said. You have served in humility. Glory be to God. So you don't have to force anything to happen for you, children of God, and you don't have to try and make anything happen for you. It is your birthright. It is your inheritance because you are an heir of God and a joint heir of Yeshua, Hama Mashiach. The enemy wanted you to settle. No, you will never settle. You are called to be content, but don't you ever get satisfied with where you are. You are to aim high like the eagle. Glory be to God. Aim high. God has more for you. He's going to give you houses that you didn't build. He's going to give you vineyards that you didn't plant. And God is going to give you wells that you didn't dig. Glory be to God. You are going to rise up. Glory be to God. With a generational wealth covenant. It's going to be established in your life. You will be blessed in the city, in the field. You are going to be blessed in your coming and in your going. God said you are going to be blessed in your laying down and your rising. You're your children and your family will call you blessed and they will see the manifold generational wealth covenant blessing on your life. Glory be to God. When you feel, children listen, when you feel like the promises of God are not going to happen for you, but it's going to happen for everybody else. No, that is your Holy Spirit indicator telling you, it's letting you know that I'm at the door. I'm knocking at the door of your heart. I'm knocking at your door to bring the manifold blessing. So open the door, God is saying. Open the door. Glory be to God. You are being encouraged right now to continue to build in silence. God is asking you to follow his lead. He's asking you to trust him because God is going before you sons and daughters and he's making every crooked path straight for you. So don't you be worried and don't just stress. God is removing every obstacle and he's removing every hindrance that has tried to to steal what belongs to you. You can no longer be censored. You can no longer be censored and you can no longer be monitored by the enemy. You are being hidden in the realm of the spirit. What you're doing right now in secret, God is going to reward you openly for all of your instigators, for all of your mockers, for all of the scoffers, for all of your naysayers to see. Yes, God is allowing you to do it in secret because God is going to allow these people to see your blessings. Glory be to God. Openly, glory be to God. You children of God, be encouraged. People wanted you to fail. People wanted you to go broke. I hear you, God. People wanted you to lose everything you had, but you will recover all. God is going to restore everything to you, and he's going to give you back more than what you had, and he's going to give you better than what left your life. Glory be to God. You see, these people wanted you to be codependent on them, but you chose your Yourself. Yes, you chose yourself. Glory to God. 
You will tie your children of God of building and funding somebody else's vision and dreams and allowing your own dreams to die. People were watching you. They were watching you very closely because they knew you were building something, but they just didn't know what it was. And they thought whatever it was, it would never amount to anything, but the devil is a liar. You are to hold your peace and let these people talk because at the end, your vision shall speak and it will not lie. These people laughed at you. They made fun at you sons and daughters just like they did Noah. But God is calling you to build the ark. Do what he called you to do. Build your dream. Build your vision. Your vision. Glory to God. Because these same people that call you foolish these same people that said you have lost your mind. Yes, those same people, glory be to God, that made fun at you. Glory be to God and cracked jokes at you. God said these are the same people that will have to come for you for help. These people are going to have to come to you for help. Glory be to God. They are going to come clothed in shame, God said. They are going to come clothed in regret. Did they not know you are a chosen vessel, sons and daughters? Did they not know that you are a seed planted to produce? And when the enemy comes, the Bible tells us, when they're hungry, feed them. When they need water to drink, you give them water. Glory be to God. Because a generational wealth is your portion today. And God has given you a generational wealth as your portion because you kept a clean and a pure heart. Glory be to God. God bless you. I love each and every one of you. I receive your emails. I receive your prayer requests. And I am touching and agreeing with you. Help is coming to you. Stay encouraged. Glory be to God. Keep your mind transformed to the word of God. God is no respect the person. Glory be to God. Where God does one for his one for his children, he will do it for you. You have to trust and you have to believe. God said those who believe that he is God. Glory be to God. Those are the people that God will cause great blessings to fall upon because that's his word and that is his kingdom law. The best is yet to come for you. God bless you. Until next time.